Hey, Stacy. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Elizabeth. How are, How are you? you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Awesome. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. We appreciate you taking some time. Uh, to all our TMs out there, the purpose of this meeting is that Stacy's going to share with us what Woodstock Chimes is releasing for 2020. Uh, Stacy's got some great new product offerings for our customers and consumers, and we're really eager for you to take it away and share more. I can't wait to share uh, all of this with you. And the first thing I need to do is share. Which there you go. Doing right now. Awesome. I see you coming. And here we are. Let me go to full screen here. So here we have a um, PowerPoint showing all of our new products that we'll be introducing at the winter markets. I'm pretty excited about this collection. Um, I'm going to jump right in. This first few products, I'm real happy about uh, how these have turned out. These were uh, inspired by some brainstorming and conversation when we had a sales summit here at, in New York uh, in the spring with One Coast. The idea came uh, about that maybe we should try to make a collection of products where we're, as we say here on the screen, bringing, it, bringing the garden indoors. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. And what we did is we made a few products that share a, a, a bit of a common theme in that they have a, a washed white wood finish. Um, they you know, look great in what's kind of trendy right now in, the, in a uh, cottage decor style. So the first product is, we call it Woodstock Tranquility Table Chime, and it's in washed white. Uh, pretty similar to the Tranquility uh, Current Table Chime, but uh, a little bit different look. How does that one play, Stacy? It's hand activated, um, not by the wind, and you choose your moment in time to relax and hear some, some soothing notes. Hmm, okay. Tell me, remind me, what's the difference between this and the other Tranquility Table Chime? Well, it has a little bit of a different look. Um, the other one has a, a darker wood and sort of a, a bit of an Asian appeal. And this one also has a, a larger range, uh, 24 rods on this one versus 18 on the current, uh, the current chime. Let's listen to this one. Yeah. called uh, Woodstock Cottage Decor Chime. It's a pretty simple chime. It has a pretty unusual sound. Uh, maybe we'll play that first here before we talk any more about it. Okay. Kind of distinctly different than any of our other chimes. It does. Um, is, that, is that one that can be out the first? Well, you could hang it out outdoors for sure. I think uh, it works um, inside because it's kind of got this muted neutral tone, the washed wood look. And I think it looks really great. It's sort of a flat uh, design. I think it looks really great uh, up against a wall. But of course, it could go outside too. Okay. Okay. This is the Woodstock Mystic Spiral, we call it confetti. Uh, this would be the fourth chime that we've made or designed in this series. Uh, you're familiar with the amber and the turquoise and the jade versions. This one's really very, very pretty. It's washed white wood once again with very, very pretty. Um, I, I don't know, I think confetti is the best description of the color of the, of the, bee or the stone accents on here. They're kind of light pastel, uh, um, uh, stone pieces. Really pretty. And are they stone or are they something it's else? It's all real stone, just as it is in all of our Mystic Spiral chimes. They are, it's not acrylic, it's not plastic or glass, it's actually real stone. Yeah, very, very pretty. Um, would somebody hang that inside or outdoors? 
Uh, I think I could see this product in a quiet corner in the home or maybe in a tween bedroom to go anywhere to add a splash of color uh, and fun. It's a real fun looking charm. Right. Do you think with something like that, do you think appeal to the tween market? Absolutely. Um, uh, not that I really know what appeals to the tween market, but I think it is, like I said, it's fun, it's colorful, um, would fit into, uh, uh, you know, fun decor for sure in the bedroom or uh, maybe in a dorm room. Mm -hmm. If we if we pitched it that way or positioned it that way to a retailer, um, what other products would you group with that to make a great statement? Well, I could imagine a retailer uh, putting the display together with, you know, maybe a bunch of our other kind of colorful chimes, maybe the Wind Fantasy, the Agates, any of the Precious Stones or Chakra chimes, certainly the Capiz, and definitely some of the Rainbow Makers, uh, any of the crystal products. I mean, we have so many items that are, um, you know, really colorful um, and bright like that. So mm -hmm. you could make a, a really cool display. And yeah, make this part of it. Really pretty. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you. Let's listen to this one quick. The sound of this one will be exactly the same as the other three uh, Mystic Spiral shots. Very pretty. And this is, I, I think this is now the, the fifth one, the last product that's uh, uh, in this, uh, officially in this Bringing the Garden Indoors series that we're, that we're launching. And this one's particularly pretty, uh, Woodstock uh, White Marble Chime. And this is the same size as, our, you know, that best-selling chime of ours, the uh, tur uh, turquoise chime, WTR mm -hmm. chime. Mm -hmm. uh, the same size, same kind of look, square aluminum tubes. And we've uh, created this uh, a white marble, uh, a full white marble uh, feather. So again, washed white wood, silver tubes, and white marble accent. Uh, tuning is the same as um, those other chimes in this series. Yeah, that, that's really, really pretty. Um, why do you think that particular style has been such a perennial bestseller? Well, again, if, if you look at it in, in uh, context of, of the other chimes that are similar to this, the square top, the square tubes, um, this design, the design lines in this series, they're really harmonious. There's a lot of interesting geometry. The arts and craft look is always popular. The square tubes are unlike anything else in the market. And the tuning is special, too. These chimes are tuned uh, using what's called the golden ratio which is an ancient mathematical solution that was used in architecture and in science and in, and in music. There's a lot of history uh, with the tuning, but fact is it just has a real pretty sound. Here, here's what it sounds like. And I was wrong, it's not the last one. There is one more. And this is maybe, I think uh, people find this one particularly interesting, the aromatherapy bell. Um, again, whitewashed wood with uh, uh, a, a temple bell style bell hanging from the front and a bell uh, canister on the top that holds this aroma oil uh, ceramic diffuser. Really unusual uh, product. Really, really pretty. So the detail I'm seeing there of the aroma oil diffuser, is that on top of the white bar or on top of that chime? I'm not clear there. Yeah, you can't see it because I think you have a picture of me there, but it would be right under where my uh, face is. Um, so you have the bell hanging on the left side and then on the top of the white wooden piece is that uh, the metal bell-like uh, piece that holds the, the diffuser. Wow. This is actually a product that we made many, many years ago, and I think it was way before its time because back then uh, aromatherapy and, and uh, these types of oils were not nearly as available. Now you can buy them everywhere, and it's a very popular, um, popular thing and can be very therapeutic. Absolutely. Well, it's certainly very innovative. Um, and we just so happen to represent a, uh, another brand that sells essential oils, so that's a very cool thing. Um, how many how many oil drops would you put into that diffuser and, and any idea how long the fragrance would last? 
Well, it's a very good, uh, excellent quality ceramic piece in there. Uh, it does actually absorb the oil nicely. Um, I guess you put as many drops in as you want. I mean, I, you could try maybe two or three, and I, I think you get a very good scent. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. It's very effective. Yeah, so primarily indoors, obviously, to keep the, keep the fragrance indoors would, makes good sense. Really, really pretty. Excellent. Well, thank you. Let's listen to that one. Yeah. Sounds just like a temple bell, like a single... Okay, moving on. Uh, we have two new solar chimes. Oh, yay. These use the same uh, solar light units that, that we have in some of our other chimes, like the Aloha Solar and the Capiz Solar Chimes. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really high quality, excellent light. The batteries last forever. The lights charge by day, and they'll uh, light for seven or eight hours at night. Um, they're really beautiful chimes. They're tuned to a Balinese pentatonic scale. And we're um, calling them Moonlight Solar Chimes. We have a nice picture there of it uh, lit uh, at night. We're offering it in bronze, uh, with bronze tubes or silver tubes and teak finish uh, wood. Very, very pretty chime. Yeah. Uh, how, how would you recommend that a retailer best uh, positions that or demonstrates its, its quality? Well, one, one thing that we've done with all of our solar chimes, we actually do this with the, um, with the uh, Memorial Urn chimes too, because in both cases, just hanging in a display or in a store, uh, the customer might not realize that it's a solar chime. Mm -hmm. What we do on, on all of these is we have a second hang tag that hangs from the top of, I'm sure the TMs have all seen these, but right. a second hang tag that hangs from the top of the chime that um, kind of hits you over the head with what's, what's special here, and that the, the fact is it's a solar Light bulb goes light. on. So we really, we really draw attention to that, that there's something different about this chime. It's not just a, a, another um, signature Woodstock chime. Yeah. The other thing that can, that can be done, I try to show uh, retailers this at the shows, um, they, these come with a battery already charged and you can actually open the light up and turn, turn the switch on. And if you put your hand over the top of the solar unit, the light comes on. I do it all the time at trade shows to kind of show uh, what it would look like when it's lit. But it's a challenge. There's no doubt that selling solar uh, products at retail is, is challenging. Right. Well, we appreciate that additional hang tag. And, and you just rem reminded me that it's on the others as well. So that's right. Cool. Let's just listen to the sound of this one. Now we're hearing a bit more. on that one 29 inches 30 bucks it's a, a really beautiful piece yeah i think it's gonna it's gonna be a good a good seller now for something pretty unusual uh this is another blast from the past um is another product that we that we made uh many years ago i almost say 25 years ago perhaps um it was a little bit short-lived at the time because we had so much trouble um with the manufacturing but uh, we've kind of solved all the problems with it and uh, we have a new design and it's an absolutely stunning piece. We uh, call it the Woodstock Pendulum Chime. It, uh, you see the stone on the bottom, that's kind of the, that is the pendulum. And that's what, this is the one where I really wish we could show you some video because you have to see this uh, in order to really appreciate it. Let's listen to this one right now so you get an idea of the sound. Once you activate the pendulum, it will swing back and forth for several minutes on its own. And it's making a very unusual sound because of the tuning. It's alternating on the right. If you look at the picture, the three tubes on the right are tuned to a major triad, C, E, G, and the three tubes on the left are a minor triad, D, D F natural, and A. 
they're all in the C major scale, but so it alternates between a major a major sound and then a minor sound, which gives it a, a really unusual sound overall. It's very, very handsome. And that is a, uh, it's a faux stone. Yes, it is. It's, uh, and I have to say our factory did an incredible job with it. it. As you can imagine, if we used real stone, that was one of the problems when we made it years ago. It was just impossible to drill a hole in the in real blue stone um, and do it consistently. So what we found is the perfect stone. I sent Gary out in the quarry behind the factory one day to find the perfect stone. <laughs> the true story. Um, I told him about what we wanted and I uh, came in the next day and he had a box of about 40 of them. I don't know how he got it in here. Um, and we took the perfect stone and then we had our polyresin factory copy it. So it, it, to look at it is absolutely a beautiful little piece of blue stone. Mm -hmm. So yes, it is full stone. It's really, really pretty. What, uh, what was your inspiration behind it? Um, yeah, it's actually a little complicated, but it's it's uh, this this tuning goes uh, is is part of uh, incorporated in a Steve Reich piece. Uh, Steve Reich is a composer that Gary played with for for thirty years, so that was kind of the uh, the inspiration mm -hmm. of the tuning. Um, the pendulum. I'm not exactly sure how we came up with that, but the pendulum was is what allowed that this back and forth, which is what that piece of Steve's did. Um, the pendulum is what allowed that to happen. Yeah, that's really great. Um, how would you recommend a retailer merchandise this one? And, and what other products would you encourage them to consider? Well, you know, with, with these new introductions we have this season, and then of course, everything we already have in the line, we really have quite a few, you know, really nice tabletop products now between the gongs, mm -hmm. Tranquility Chime, the, all this energy products. So it certainly makes sense to me that you would um, put these things together. Right, right. And incidentally, you know, a couple of these like this really is, a, is another product uh, of bringing the garden indoors kind of product, uh, just a little bit different look. Yeah, right, great item. A couple more wind chimes. Uh, for years, people have been saying to us, we need to get some, uh, get some chimes into the pet uh, channel, check, uh, the pet market. And uh, so we've created these two. These both happen to have uh, the memorial urns on them. I think you know, all the TMs, everybody at One Coast is aware of how popular our urn chimes are. Um, but we're really directing these uh, at the pet market for you know cats and dogs. And the, uh, the metal ornaments that are on the feathers, I think would be familiar to everybody. Those are the nickel plated brass ornaments that uh, we use on the rainbow makers. And these two actually are two of the top selling uh, crystal fantasy ornaments. So they're on the feather. Uh, it's a nickel plated, bright nickel plated um, uh, urn that sits underneath the top. Oh, they should do fabulous. I bet you, you know what's gonna be asked next, Stacy. Can you feel it coming? Yep, I know what you're going to say. What am I going to ask you? Can we can we custom or personalize these? Right. And uh, as we speak, uh, this is being worked on with Brandon at PJ P Graham Dunn. Um, as everybody knows, we P, P Graham has uh, our feathers, some of our feathers set up as templates in their uh, laser engraving system. So we're trying to figure out if we can do that. One of the challenges with these is that. Um, the side with the cat and dog is not entirely flat because we have these little escutcheon pins that hold the, the cat and dog on there. Right. So we're trying to figure out how to do that because logically you would maybe want to laser engrave on the other side. These feathers are the exact same size as the uh, Amazing Grace Medium, a GMS feather. So uh, the, the machine is all ready for it. Right. Well, I think it's going to do real well. We should have a lot of sales on those for certain. Very nice. You can hear Fido in the breeze. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yet another new temple bell. This one we've introduced because the uh, Temple Bell turquoise uh, that we uh, brought out last season has done really well. Uh, so I had another one kind of ready to go uh, if, if that was the case, and it turned out it was. So 
Uh, this one we call Jade. And it has, again, real stone accents. They're, of course, not really jade, but it's, um, it's green stone. And it has uh, our new antique silver uh, finish on it, which I think is one of the things that is appealing uh, to people uh, for the turquoise version. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's a really pretty silver. Uh, is, that, is that a new coloration? Uh, well, it's relatively new. I think it's about uh, maybe uh, a year or maybe a year and a half that we first introduced it on the heroic wind bell and then last season we put it on the uh, temple bells turquoise and people seem to really like it it's a very very pretty thing yeah very on trend one more new chime in the wind fantasy series bumblebees are very popular and again you'll recognize this ornament it's the uh bladed brass ornament that we have on our one of our best-selling crystal fantasies and it's in the uh resin ring for a feather the so other, it's so it's loose and it'll it'll literally fly or float in between uh, it'll yeah it'll fly around in the in yeah, the breeze cool all the chimes in this series have have done well That guy's going to get into the top five. I might. Um, yeah. The uh, Tree of Life chime is definitely in the top ten now, and bees are bees are very popular. So they are. They are indeed. And we'll work with other things in our package. So thank you for that. Absolutely. Here's sort of another uh, another speaking of tabletop products is Energy Bell. So this is sort of a cross between the um, Awakening Bell and as energy chime has a, a very distinctive sound play it here It's uh, half the cost of the Awakening Bell. Hey, Stacey, you know what? It was, I was in such a zen zone during that. I had some trouble hearing you. Okay. <laughs> Probably best. <laughs> Tell us a bit more about what you're sharing. I, I apologize. It was. It was truly a beautiful sound, but it's hard to hear you. I hope you're relaxed now. I am ready uh, it's, to uh, It's, uh, you know, as I said, it's sort of a, a cross between a wakening bell and his energy chime would be used for meditation mm. or um, for some healing. Uh, it plays a perfect fifth above the awakening bell. So when you play them both together, it's really magical. Yeah, it's a beautiful sound. Thank you. What and, about the ballot, though? Uh, hang on, can we flop back to that guy for a sec? How, sure. do, we, how do we keep someone from, from uh, just, you know, misplacing that mallet? Well, that's always an issue with these with these products with these energies. Like, where where is the mallet? Somebody stole the mallet. Where should we put it? Um, this one is it's kind of funny. The mallet fits perfectly inside of the tube. Oh, awesome! So, so people that can are thinking ahead. Well, that's where they'll put it. They just have to remember they put it in there. <laughs> Very good. All right. Thank you. Uh, now we have a, yet another new energy chime. We call this one energy crystal. My face is covering the blue crystal, but it's a, a very pretty, uh, real uh, crystal. Um, I think it's a really nice combination. Uh, the the energy rod and uh, and the crystal combination. I think it's uh, it'll work well in that market. That's really pretty. Tell me more about that uh, blue pointed crystal. Well, blue crystal is associated with clarity and intuition in meditation. Um, hopefully it'll, it'll, it, in meditation, that crystal will help you focus even more. Mm -hmm. 
it's very pretty. Yeah, it looks very pretty. My favorite color. Um, let me ask, is that longer or shorter than the Zenergy Chime Solo? It's shorter. Uh, the Zenergy Chime Solo, for those of you that know your musical notes, plays an A. And uh, this one plays the E above that uh, Zenergy A, so it's a perfect fifth above it. All of our Zenergy Chimes, if you look in the catalog, you see all the notes on the scales. and. There's quite a few different notes between the four or five Zenergies, but they're all totally compatible and they're very beautiful if you play them together. Really pretty. And I think we have one more chime, a new bamboo chime from, from Bali. Uh, it's really pretty. And again, my face is covering the top of the chime over there, but that's why we gave you this giant uh, detail photo of the Buddha itself, which is really the coolest part of the chime. Uh, it's a seated Buddha um, in, uh, made of resin, and it's surrounded by these uh, pods or whatever you will uh, around it that are uh, wood. So I think it's real pretty. It's a great price at, at $12.50. So are the leaves, the uh, lotus leaves, wood or resin? They're wood. Um, I actually thought they were coconut until yesterday, but I checked on it, and, and they're actually wood. They are wood. Okay. It's a real pretty chime, and uh, the minute you hear it, you hear it again. Bamboo sound. Sounds like a happy Buddha to me. Yeah, he's pretty happy. <laughs> So that's all of the chimes now. We've got a few new crystals that we'll go through here. And we've got a, uh, two new crystal fantasies. The first one is a Buddha, which I wish I wasn't covering so much, but it's a, again, a seated, uh, a, a seated Buddha. Uh, these, both of these that you're gonna see have already been introduced in England where they're made for us and been crazy popular over there. They were introduced at uh, Spring Fair last year, and so we were convinced that we should bring them over here. So it's the usual uh, story here. This is a, the regular size crystal fantasy, mostly Swarovski crystals on it with the nickel, nickel plated brass ornament, and they all come with the organza bag. Really pretty, but you know, I have a question though, Stacy. Most Buddhas I see are chubby. This guy looks pretty lean. He's been, he's been working out. Tell me yes. more about that. Well, at the risk of me sounding like I really know what I'm talking about with Buddhas, um, the, the chubby Buddha, Buddha, as you refer to him, is usually called laughing Buddha. And he's more in the, uh, in the uh, Chinese tradition. And the thinner Buddha is often uh, what's what you see and depicted in uh, in Japan and also in Thailand and India. Yeah. Those so, are, well, know your Buddhas. I think it's important. There are, there, the there are many different Buddhas. Know our Buddhas. <laughs> um, all Let's right. Look at, Thank you for that clarity. Here we have the elephant. Very cool. This is uh, these like all the rainbow makers. The pictures, uh, as as much as I think we take nice pictures of them, Carol in our. Um, office here takes the pictures. They're, they're beautiful, but they're even much better in person. So mm. it makes us for everybody to see these up close. Those they're, crystals, the colors are gorgeous. Yeah, that's what's really striking on these. I've got a couple, couple more things coming up that you'll see. It, we're really honing in on the, on the colors of the crystals. You could go back to the uh, Buddha. That's kind of the rainbow chakra colors there, very right. bright than these very kind of exotic blues and purples for the elephant. Very regal. So he's got a, a trunk up. Tell me about the trunk up. So I'm sure I'm clear on that. Well, legend has it, if the trunk's up, he's going to be showering uh, you with good fortune. Oh, good news. And I've been told that even if the trunk's down, it's, uh, there are a lot of good qualities like curiosity and thoughtfulness and who knows what else. So. Mm -hmm. I think uh, we're covered either way here. Yeah, big gentle giant for sure. And we have one more uh, new crystal product, uh, Crystal Tree of Life. This is one that uh, we just couldn't resist. 
when I saw this in England when I was there early in September. It's so kind of a last minute piece to, to bring in. It's a little pricier, it's $20. Uh, so it's one of the more expensive rainbow makers, but it's entirely 100% Swarovski. Wow. Every crystal on here and you can really see it. It's just, it's a really striking, strikingly beautiful piece. Well, as a heart collector, I would say $20 is a reasonable price for something that spectacular. Right. And then I've got a couple more things that we're just kind of giving you a little heads up on. Uh, you recall last season, we updated a, a couple of the fantasies with new crystal colors, and we're doing that again in January. We're switching. This will be a running change. We're switching the butterfly from blue crystals to uh, these monarch colors that you see here. Beautiful. The butterfly has changed a little bit too. Now it's more a, a monarch uh, uh, shape. And the next one is also incredibly pretty. It's uh, we're making a change on the Celtic cross and uh, making those all these bright uh, emerald green crystals. Really pretty. So those will you'll be seeing samples in January and we'll be shipping those as soon as it cuts over. When will those be shipping, uh, Stacy? Because the hearts in particular and and the Celtic for St. Patrick's Day. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, we'll have them definitely by then for sure. So shipping uh, January. Well, new products will be um, are arriving early in December. I think I've got it on the last on the last slide when we'll be going live in Eman. So we'll get to that in a minute, but we will be, I think the idea was to have everything live and ready to go once we get to Emisteo. Great. And we can start shipping in, in December. Okay. We have a new Rainbow Maker, uh, yet another display, a two-tier um, counter display. Uh, this is something Betsy really, really wanted to, uh, we needed a counter display that could hold more pieces and longer pieces. So mm -hmm. this 24 pieces. Uh, it's a pretty attractive display. We have a lot of retailers wanting to keep it as a counter display, but the um, the ones that we have just didn't hold enough. So that's the story here. And we've also come up with a package deal, a counter package deal uh, that will load this up and give you a little bit of back stock for $630. That's a nice pop for a small little, little statement for sure. DMs will love that. So here are the, uh, some of those key dates. So for the week of, of December 2nd, which is NSTM kickoff, uh, new products will be available uh, to order. Okay. The 2020 catalog, uh, the cover of the catalog you see on the right there, um, that will be mailing right about the time we all uh, hit Atlanta. And uh, of course we will have catalogs at NSTM uh, you know, to review there, but uh, the TMs will be receiving their their box of catalogs a um, week or two after December 2nd. Many of them will have it when they get home from, from NSTM. That's great. Uh, most of the new products, uh, we have one or two little delays that were unforeseen, but almost everything will begin shipping uh, in mid-December. Mid and here we have a reminder, winter dating is coming again. Hard to believe, but that'll run from January 2nd until March 2nd. Excellent. So um, is that enough information? Seems like that's it. quite a bit, certainly quite a bit. I counted uh, 16 new chimes uh, being presented just there and from all your collections, one Asley Arts, lots of signature, rainbow makers. So certainly a breadth of things for us to get super excited about and eager to come see and touch and feel at the, uh, and here certainly at the NSTM. Um, so we surely appreciate your time, Stacey. I'm certain if, if TMs have questions, they can reach out to you or Betsy. And or Absolutely, Betsy. anytime. Secret weapon in there. And we surely appreciate the opportunity to see this in advance. And TMs, get ready to sell. Woodstock, as always, ships pretty much 100% complete and executes so flawlessly. So we really, really appreciate you. And thank you for your time. Thank you for your kind words. And we look forward to seeing everybody and uh, uh, showing all the new products. Take care. All right. Thank you. Hey, safe travels to China. Hey, thank you. All right. Take care.